Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. In part one of our Boomerang Effect tutorial, some dude with a really bad Australian accent showed you how to solve the Boomerang Effect problem when you have two identical keyframes. But the thing is, that's not the only time you'll see that Boomerang problem. In that case, we were dealing with a layer that had a curvy motion path and that at some point held its position and then continued on. But there are cases where you'll be creating a straight motion path with no stop and you'll still be plagued by the boomerang. And in this case, since you're not trying to have your layer hold its position, that means you can't use a hold keyframe to fix the problem. So how can you fix it? Well, when you're working with a straight path that has the boomerang effect, chances are that your spatial keyframes are Bezier keyframes and not linear. And while Bezier keyframes are great for curvy motion, they're not very good for straight or linear motion. And as a result, you end up with random motion in your animation. Now, there are several ways that you can tell if your spatial keyframe is a Bezier keyframe or linear. One way is to move the problematic keyframe to see if the motion path becomes curvy. If it does, then it's Bezier. Another way to tell, and in my opinion, probably the best way, is to right click on the keyframe and from the pop-up, choose Keyframe Interpolation. In the Interpolation dialog, it tells you what the spatial and temporal interpolations are. As you can see, it tells me that this keyframe's spatial interpolation is set to Auto Bezier. If you click on the pull-down, you can see that there are many possible types of spatial interpolation. I'm going to exit the Keyframe Interpolation dialog and then in the timeline, I'll select all of my keyframes, and then, again, I'll go back to the keyframe interpolation dialog. And then in the pull-down, I'll change it from the current settings to linear interpolation, and then I'll click OK. As you can see, this makes all of the keyframes linear keyframes, and it fixes the problem. Just so you know, based on how many keyframes you select, you can do this for one, some, or all of your keyframes at one time, so you have a lot of precision here. Another way to convert the keyframes between Linear and Bezier is to select all of the keyframes in the timeline and then grab hold of the Convert Vertex tool up here in the Pen Tools and click on any keyframe in the Comp window which will affect all of them because they're all selected. And of course you can also do this for individual or many keyframes as well. But what's going on here? Why does it solve our problem? Well, while Bezier keyframes allow for curvy motion, linear keyframes don't. When this layer was using a Bezier keyframe for the last keyframe, what was really going on was not that this keyframe had a problem. Instead, it was the keyframe before it that was all wonky. Yes, that's the technical term. If you look at the motion path carefully, you can see that the keyframe was having the issue with its Bezier handle being overextended. Remember, After Effects will do its best to interpolate Bezier keyframes with some kind of curviness or continuous motion in the motion path, even if it's not what you want. To that end, After Effects uses the Bezier handles to control the shape of the motion path. But that said, dude, don't let After Effects control you. It's a great tool, but it's still a tool. And if you know how to use it, it can be an amazing tool. So let's start taking control now. Grabbing hold of that Bezier handle, I can drag it right back to that second to last keyframe. And as you can see, the motion path is now perfectly straight. And there's no boomerang effect happening here at all. Even without converting our keyframes to linear keyframes, we've solved the problem. By learning to take control of things, you'll have more flexibility in creating motion paths that use several types of interpolation. Now, if you're finding that in the work that you do, you're more likely to use linear motion than curvy motion, then you can go into the preferences under the general area, and once you're there, activate the option called Default Spatial Interpolation to Linear. This will make every new spatial keyframe a linear keyframe, but you can always use the Convert Vertex tool or the Keyframe Interpolation dialog to switch it to a Bezier keyframe if you need to. Anyway, I hope this tutorial has helped you understand a little more about keyframing and that it'll help keep you out of trouble when it comes to the boomerang effect. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.